Now we're going to write this of Revealing God, I'm your host, Brother Victor. Today I want to talk about invisible enemies. We are fighting enemies that we don't see. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against rulers of darkness, and spiritual so wickedness in high places. It's talking about hierarchies of demonic forces. Principality and powers are those that work within, you know, are outside the human body, but there are some that collaborate with people. And this is what I want you to know because many battles people are fighting in life are not physical, they are dealing with real entities that sometimes work with human beings. Now, the first time I experienced demonic forces was one day I had a bad dream and I was woke up and I was wondering him as I laid down on my bed and I saw it, you know, something like cloudy thing pass through my cupboard and was looking at me. And when it really saw I could see it, it disappeared. This is the first time I experienced a spiritual being and I started to pray. So we must understand that we are fighting spiritual things that are influencing things in our life. And number one advantage they have is because they are hidden. When they are hidden, then they have mysteries of what they are, what they are doing in your life, and how you can defeat them. So that's why we must realize the number one reason why we can gain advantage over the enemy is to be aware of them because you can stay hidden and be manipulating and controlling things in your life without you knowing. So number one, you must realize they are hidden. And they work with the human beings in three forms. We have to understand that from Philippians chapter 3, verse 2, it says, Beware of dogs. One time we see dogs, it's talking relating to occultic powers. It's when you see dogs in dreams. Then you talk about the wealth of evil workers, it's talking about marine agents. Evil workers are mostly talking about what are spirits, uh, which are more interested in sexual uh, perversion of human race. And they also love flashy things and things that look beautiful and they are interested in money and glory of, of people. They steal people's glory. That's what they like to do and to assert it to themselves. Number three is talking about beware of concision, which are more of witchcraft. Concision means of mutilation. People that like to bring affliction to the body of, of people and cause accident and drink blood and all those kind of things. Those are the three classes of people that, uh, that the devil works with and uses them upon the earth. And these are the physical you know, people that might be working against people on the other partner with the devil to work against people. So I encourage you if you're not giving your life to Christ, this is the first point of uh, you know being able to overcome them. Because when we translate the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of God is told. So give your life to Christ, accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, then to be aware that you are working an enemy. But ultimately be aware that in the name of Jesus you can defeat them. So but the main point is that don't be ignorant that you think that things that happen to you in the physical are just happening to you naturally most times they have spiritual influence that's what i want you to take out of this so i'll see you again god bless you thank you for your time